What is going on my Atomic Auto Work friends? I'm kind of digging this new theme that we're doing with our videos where we're showing our customers who aren't local, who cannot just come in and see things. Some of the everyday stuff we go through and um, kind of explain some things. So when you're at home and you're far away and you're looking to purchase our products or services and you can't come in and talk to us, maybe this will help you out. Today, we're just gonna discuss a little bit about leathers and vinyls, how to tell the difference in a lot of them and if it's better or worse and when people use what for what. And hopefully this helps. An easy way to test vinyl out is to do the finger test. So if you go up to it and you put your finger and push, if you can see that, on vinyl, it stretches nice and smooth all the way around your finger. Leather is gonna be like if you take your finger and you push inside here. When you push your actual skin, you'll see all the skin will wrinkle up. So most of the time on leather, when you push it, it's gonna have wrinkles that come in, kind of like your skin would do. Um, there are some really good imitation leathers that actually do that, which is kind of cool, deceiving, and it's better. Some of the imitation leather, what's nice about it is it's very consistent, so you get a better yield. So per linear yard of material, you're gonna get more use out of it versus a lot of the leather hides that you get that might have scars or blemishes in it. Big differences and reasons why people will use leather versus vinyl. So leather usually conforms to your body temperature in roughly 30 seconds, whereas some vinyls and imitation leathers might take you know, 60 seconds or more to actually conform. So if you're sitting on a motorcycle seat that's black and it's hot and it's leather, in 30 seconds you're not burning, and over a minute you might still be burning with vinyl. So that's one benefit. Um, obviously, Leather, if you take care of it, is great. It lasts a long time. You do have to take care of it. You have to condition it. And most of the manufacturers recommend like condition it like more than once a week. We always tell our customers if you condition it like at the turn of every season, maybe once a month or one in the, in the driving season or riding season, you'll be fine. But the more you do it, the better. It keeps it soft, it keeps it supple. And sunlight is not your friend with any leather. It's gonna dry it up eventually, so you really wanna keep it out of the sun. Some people really feel that leather breathes better. So like on a motorcycle where normally you're sweating, they say it breathes better, so you're gonna get more air out of it versus a vinyl. And some of the more textured vinyls kind of feel a little bit more like leather as well, which is a great thing. The great thing about vinyls and imitation leathers is they last a real long time, and you don't really have to do anything to them. So for durability, it's great. And then you have stuff like the weather. Now, a marine grade vinyl is obviously very water resistant, mildew resistant, and high double rubs. And a double rub is actually how many times you get on and off your seat. So on, off is a double rub. That's one double rub. So when you get in your car to go to work or on your motorcycle, that's one time. When you get home to do it, that's two times. So if you think about that two times in a week, five is 10, five days, twice 10, 50 something weeks a year, say you're riding your car or motorcycle, so you're talking a little over 500 times a year. Some of the high grade vinyls that we use for marine, very durable stuff is a million double rubs. That means a million times on and off before it starts to wear. Some of the leathers are 35, 45, 75,000 double rubs, which doesn't seem like a lot when you compare that to a million. But then when you think about over a 10 year span, maybe getting 5,000 double rubs out of it, that's a pretty long lifespan and usually on your motorcycles or your custom cars it's more seasonal and it's not like your everyday drivers the double rub is important and obviously mildew resistant stain resistant water resistant all that stuff takes in the factor if you have a motorcycle that's outside and it's getting wet all the time leather's probably not your best choice imitation leather might not even be because some of the imitation leathers actually have a um, like kind of a furry back on them and that's going to hold more moisture in and lead to more mildew so if you have a motorcycle that gets wet a lot you might want to go with a marine vinyl, like a higher grade marine vinyl that has a smooth back that's more water resistant and mildew resistant. That said, a lot of guys who will do like a custom motorcycle or a custom car, they're going to go right towards leather. Because if you're building a $50,000, $100,000 motorcycle, half a million dollar car, obviously you're going to put leather in it. Although what's funny is that was always the, the way we did it for years. Now we're doing some really expensive motorcycles and cars and we're using imitation leathers a lot in them and most of the people can't tell the difference and there are some benefits and some pros and cons. Obviously price is a huge issue. However, there are some imitation leathers that cost as much and more than real leather. So it's kind of really crazy. We usually tell people, again, if you ride it and drive it and you're beating on it and it's getting wet, it's getting mildew, all that stuff, go with the marine vinyl. If it's something that's going to be taken care of a little bit more, but you don't really want to worry about it, don't want to condition it, and you're looking for something nice, go with the imitation leather. Best bang for your buck, right in the middle of the vinyl and the leather is imitation leather. And then if you're going for more high end, you want something really nice, or you're very picky and could tell the difference. A lot of customers can just walk right up and be like, this is leather. 
I could see it, smell it, taste it, touch it. I know it's leather and that's what I want. And what's nice about leather is a good gray leather stretches in all different directions, whereas vinyls usually do it um, one, two or three way. And most commonly you'll have a one way stretch on it. So with a leather, you'll get like a nicer stretch. And what's great about that is when you're pulling it around a bolster around something, it just stretches uniformly and has a really nice look to it. Where some of the vinyls, you have to know what you're doing, make sure you're pulling it in the right direction, make sure you get that stretch going to actually have it have that same look. Price wise, it's a huge difference. You know, we buy vinyls for you know, anywhere from 20 to $40 a yard on average. Imitation leathers are 30 to $70 on average. And then leather hides for a decent leather hide could cost you five, $600 to $800 and up um, just for a leather hide. And if you look at a leather hide and you compare them, like if you took a European leather hide, it's only 60 square feet, which is actually huge. Whereas in America, ours are usually around 54 square feet. So our hides are a lot less. Um, European hides usually don't have barbed wire in them because they don't usually use barbed wire, whereas American, uh, American hides use a lot of barbed wire and that barbed wire actually um, cuts the leather and cuts the cows. So what will happen is you'll have blemishes that you have to work around. So now that 54 square foot hide is actually a lot less um, area that we could use because you have to work around all those areas. Also, a lot of the European hides, they don't have stretch marks and they're a better grade because they don't do a lot of the hormones and injecting the fats and all the stuff that's done in America. Whereas if you get an American hide, a lot of them have a lot of fat injected into them and hormones and it's stretch marks and it's kind of like um, a lot of areas you can't use. Um, so, you know, that's one of the reasons why people will choose your, your European hides. It's a kind of a better bang for your buck and you get a better quality piece usually. I mean, there are a lot of manufacturers in the U.S. now that do great stuff, um, that have great hides and they source great products. So it's not as much as it used to be where it used to be all Italian and European leather was better. Now we have a lot of hides or uh, leather manufacturers in the U.S. that have great products as well too. Just as a rule of thumb, the European ones are usually a little bit bigger. So hopefully this video helps out with the leather vinyl pros and cons and different options that you could use. And you know, you have to kind of decide for yourself what you want to use, what benefits you the best and um, go from there. And we will, get, we're going to do more videos showing you like in depth leather. We'll show you some of the leather we use. We're going to show you some of the vegetable tan leathers, show you the European veg tan versus American veg tan, which is quite scary when you hold a piece of um, European vegetable tan leather and it's really nice and it has a nice even look and feel and consistency to it and then you pull out an American one that has stretch marks all over it and it's just when you dye it it absorbs weird so it's kind of cool and I think it'll be good to kind of go over each individual thing and then you could kind of see it and it's neat to see I was impressed when I learned it and saw it years ago and hopefully it will help you guys out. So if you have any questions, please, I know these videos are getting kind of quick and random because we're very busy and I'm trying to give you some information and also get our work done. But if you have questions, just shoot, you know, shoot us a comment below and let us know and ask us and we'll respond to it. Might not be like right away, but we'll, we will respond to it. And we appreciate all your, um, you know, your views and everybody watching it. Thank you.